I'd always have something to say on the subject of burgers down the pub, and then it was the end, December 2010 that, I don't know, I just, uh, there was a few conversations with a few different people, and they were like, oh, you should, you should have your own blog. And that's how it all started. I set up a burger blog to essentially put down all the stuff that I was thinking so I didn't have to regurgitate it time after time. As a burger blogger, I think it's very difficult to just say, I'm going to open my own burger joint. I've got no experience as a chef and I'm just going to like make it happen. And so Burger Shack is definitely, you know, undoubtedly uh, a collaboration where the guys that own the Royal Oak pub, where Burger Shack is happily ensconced, they were refurbing it a year ago and they initially asked me as Burger Act if I would curate a series of uh, kitchen residencies. Just kind of basically, yeah, make, make this an exciting foodie hub, if you like, in, uh, in Marlebone. At this point, it wasn't necessarily going to be a burger thing. It was just like, why don't we create something that feels like a pop-up? And then it just, the more we thought about it, the more it made sense to piggyback on, you know, the success of the blog or, you know, what I've been doing. So that's how it all came about. Some of the items on the menu are designed to, to also deliver a twang of nostalgia. So the cheeseburger is, yes, uh, <laughs> shamelessly modelled on a McDonald's cheeseburger in that it's got the same ingredients, it's got sour pickles, some diced onion, ketchup and French's yellow mustard. And then the Burger Shack burger, which is a sort of posh burger. So it's got Keen's cheddar, which is earthy and tangy. And we've got a chipotle burger sauce uh, in there and streaky bacon. So we, you've got a sort of American classic and then you've got something that's a bit more representative of what's happening here. But I'm interested in both of those things. And so the food in our menu the idea is that it sort of it has it has something for everyone. There is no perfect burger. It's the elusive dream that that doesn't exist because everybody what likes different things and have their own preferences and their own different ways of doing things. Some people come in and ask for their beef well done, and I I want to hit them because I I find that wrong. Um, but they but they like it. That's how they want it, and that's what's awesome about the burger as a sort of medium. It's, it's perfectly designed as a format to deliver all things to all men at any time. And beyond that, it's also the perfect medium to deliver the best of British. And that's why we're sat here today in this world. Because we not only have amazing native beef, we invented cheddar. We invented Stilton. This day was bound to happen that the UK would be looked to as like these are the guys making the best burgers in the world. It was, it was written in, in the sands, something.